My number six, Zach, is the Philadelphia Eagles. Interesting. Okay, you and I disagree on the Eagles. You want to save this conversation for the end, or do you want to get into the Eagles now? Uh, we can we can talk about it now. Okay. Do you want to say where you have them? I have the Eagles too. Really? I have the Eagles too. Yep. Huh. I'm surprised. I think that the the risk with the Eagles staff is that it looks really good on paper, but the parts may not all fit together. Okay. Um, like the, these are. But literally, what we're doing now is judging parts, aren't we? I mean, I'm judging yeah. the staff. Okay. Um, and like the Fangio track record, we will we can get to. We can get to it when we talk about the Cleveland Browns. Uh, but like the the Fangio track record is not as good as like the reputation necessarily because everybody has copied him, but the results do not speak the same language. Um, now, I actually like I thought about putting them even lower, but I think Stout makes a big difference here. Um, and like just to have the best offensive line coach in the league makes a big difference. I mean, I don't know. The offense was super stale last year. Kellen Moore's offense in L.A. last year was not that great. I'm not 100% convinced that the offense is going to be great. Now, uh, what also matters to me a lot is, is Nick's willingness to go for it on fourth down. Uh, that's why they're this high for me. But th- I think there is a risk that um, – all of the parts do not work together very well here, and that's why I'm I'm unsh- like for instance I'm going to have the Rams next because of Sean McVay. Like I'm pretty confident of yeah. what I'm going to get from the Rams coaching staff next year, even though I don't know what their defense is going to look like. I don't know. There's a, there's a degree of mystery about what this off- sure. what, what this coaching staff is going to do this year. Yeah, I would actually argue that there's there's more mystery about uh, coaches who haven't done it yet than like like Vic Fangio has. I got two and a half decade resume of overseeing defensive uh, of, sure. of teams. Here's right? his resume over the past nine years. Mm-hmm. 19th in DVOA, 21st in DVOA, 15th in DVOA, 11th, 1st, 14th, 24th, 30th, 5th. Mm-hmm. It's an average of like uh, 16, basically. Okay. Middle of the road. Nine years, two top 10, two bottom, or two top eight, two bottom eight. Like, that's a long track record of solid. Mm-hmm. That's not like moving the needle compared to Jim Schwartz over the, that time. Yeah. Second, 18th, 15th, 12th, third, sixth, fourth in seven seasons instead of nine seasons, four top eight, no worse than 18th. Like Jim Schwartz is a, by the, by the record, a much better defensive coordinator. You don't have to sell me on Jim Schwartz. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, I think Kellen Morris had success as an OC in this league. When you, when you look at it, and, and you say, so if you take the head coach out of it, I know you can't take the head coach out of it, but would you rather Kellen Moore and Vic Fangio or would you rather uh, Mike LaFleur and Chris Shaw? I would probably rather Kellen Moore But you're Moore also saying Fangio. the track record. We've never seen Nick Sirianni do this, this role well, no, as but, the head wait, coach. So then, but, so then I look at Nick Sirianni's track record as a head coach, and I, th- I think Nick gets underrated. In, in three years as a head coach, he's, he's, he's brought his team to the playoffs three years. Uh, all, all, all three years, the Super Bowl once has had, had double-digit wins in uh, two of those seasons. His down year, his down year was like eleven and six. Now they collapsed, right? But I mean, there are coaches who get extensions after eleven and six, right? Um, that's that's Nick Sirianni's down year. Um, and then I look at the coaching staff; I see much more experience at the position coach level than they had in the past. I mean, like I said, Clint Hurt. He has, uh, you know, he's he's obviously done it before. Um, Doug Nussmeyer has been an established quarterbacks coach. I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying it's like the right hire. I don't know that. But there's more of a track record to, to go off of with Doug Nussmeyer than there is Alex Tanny. Um, so I, I think the staff overall, uh, there's success at the head coach level. There's experience at the coordinator level and the position coach level. Um, that, 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 that's why they're number two. When I was ranking this, I did, yeah, I, I, I did lend more credence, if you will, to established success mm. because I can't look at, I can't say Chris Shaw is going to have success as the Rams defense corner. I just don't know that yet. Okay. Who is your number six? My number six is the Detroit Lions. Interesting. They're did my you, number three. They're your number three. Okay. I mean, uh, we've seen what Dan Campbell's done uh, with the with the Lions here. Uh, ben Johnson turned down head coaching jobs or op- op- opportunities. Aaron Glenn very well regarded in the in the league. The, the numbers 
aren't great, but then you look at like the NFL PA survey. Uh, he was, I think, the defense coordinator most people, most players wanted to play for. I think there's value in that. Um, and then I'd like some of the members of the staff. Dave Fipp, I've seen a firsthand success that yeah, he has. Uh, Scotty Montgomery has, you know, he's a former college head coach. Uh, so yeah, I. This is one where I I would not sign up for the Lions for like their, their coaching staff for five years. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they're maybe getting a little too big for their britches at the moment. But in a on a one year sample size. I like having the head coach who is aggressive on fourth down, and I think Ben Johnson is a very good offensive coordinator. Okay. So I'm signing up for that just for one year. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Who do you got at number five? Number five, I have the Baltimore Ravens. I just said. Okay. I, oh yeah, and I have the I have the Rams here. Just, okay. Uh, and we'll I'll, talk about the Rams a few times. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you, I've got I've got the Niners at four. Okay. Um, and like the Shanahan versus McVay, uh, it's very tight. I would probably rather have McVay, although. Shanahan is a little bit more aggressive in game management than McVay is. We talk about how frustrating it is that both of these guys are these like offensive mavens, but don't trust their offense when uh, when it matters. But the this is where like the tie to me was broken by the rest yeah. of the staff because of guys like uh, Kakurik and I mean actually that's that's basically it because Brandon Staley, got, yeah, yeah, that doesn't that doesn't mean much to I mean, me. Brandon Staley's been a high level. You know, if, if you're giving Chris Shaw credit for for the, for the Rams, you got. Well, I'm not Brian. giving Chris Shaw okay. credit. <laughs> You're just, just going with the head coaching right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Brent Staley was a uh, was an accomplished uh, defensive coordinator with the Rams. He brought the Chargers to the postseason, collapsed last and they had year. Terrible defenses. You, um, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, as like an what is he now? The assistant head coach, senior advisor, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, Nick Sorensen is the defensive coordinator. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Right. I I had the Niners five. Okay, so then who was your four? My four. Is the Cleveland Browns? Okay, they're my number two. They're your number two. Okay, um, yeah. I mean, this is one I actually thought I was gonna be higher on them than than uh, you were. Uh, I think Kevin Stefanski is an outstanding coach. I think he's an outstanding play caller. He's had success with different quarterbacks. Um, I think Jim Schwartz. I said it before. Is as good a defense coordinator as you'll find in the league. Uh, Ken Dorsey. I mean, the Bills got better when Ken, when when Ken Dorsey left last year. Uh, but he has had success as an OC. So, but it really is Stefanski's offense. I like this this Brown staff. Yeah, to me, it's like I, uh, Jim Schwartz is the defensive coordinator that I trust the most mm -hmm. in the league. Um, and then I think Stefanski does good stuff on offense. Uh, yeah. And and he has had when his quarterbacks have been not Deshaun Watson, a very yeah. good offensive uh, track record. I'm with you that Dorsey is not super exciting. Um, but I'm I'm just I'm pounding the table for Schwartz. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I like shorts. 